The plane crash that killed a rising star in the world of music and film. Reaction today after Aaliyah and eight others were killed when their plane went down. Good evening, I'm Lauren Glassbergen for Sandra Bookman. And I'm Tim Fleischer. The plane, just after taking off for Florida in perfect weather, suddenly plummeted to the ground. Investigators now saying one of the engines apparently failed. Along with eight passengers, Aaliyah, a young Brooklyn native and a talented singer and actress. Jeff Rossin is live in Times Square with more on her life. Jeff. And Aaliyah had a huge following not only here in New York City, but nationwide. Only 22 years old, this pop sensation uh, was a popular singer. She was an actress in some movies recently, even a Grammy nominee. Tonight, her family is in mourning, fans asking, why her? Relatives in shock outside of Leah's home on the Upper West Side. The R&B star lived here at the Century, Central Park West and 63rd. She was on a small plane heading to Florida from the Bahamas, where she was shooting a music video. Sweetest person you can know, very intelligent. She knew what she was about and she knew what she wanted to do with her life. Aaliyah's life started here in New York City, born in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. But as a child, she moved to Detroit, where friends today remembered this young star. Aaliyah was my best friend. She was a beautiful person on the inside and out. And, um... I'm just shocked. Aaliyah's hits include Back and Forth and At Your Best. She acted in the movie Romeo Must Die and was slated to appear in sequels to The Matrix. But her life, her dreams, were taken away. On board the Doom Cessna, Aaliyah and eight others, including a representative for Virgin Records and a makeup artist. Investigators say one of the engines apparently failed. They crashed just short of a runway on Abaco Island. Members of her dance team arrived safely on a different plane. She's a beautiful person inside and out, and we're going to all miss her <laughs> deeply. She will greatly be missed. You know, she had a great impact on many lives, and it was a great experience to, to share that time with her. The family, too hurt to speak on camera, but released this statement. Aaliyah's family is devastated at the loss of their loving daughter and sister. Their hearts go out to those families who also lost their loved ones in this tragic accident. Fans at the Virgin Megastore in Times Square say Aaliyah was a role model. She had it going with her music, her acting career. She had a lot going for a long, young girl with a lot of potential. This is another mark of the crash live from Times Square, a billboard for Aaliyah's new album, but you can see when Virgin Records heard about the accident today. They covered it right up. The bodies right now are in the Bahamas for family identification. We're live tonight in Times Square. Clears the stack, has the pure froggy stacks. Clears from negativity, from negativity, from demons, from demons, from evil, from, from lies, from lies. All I bring forth the truth. All I bring forth the truth. 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 We're about about to death, to death, the mysteries surrounding the death of the death of the guys and guys, the guys and guys, give me the truth, give me the truth, give me the vision, give me the visions of what happened, visions of what happened, visions of the death, visions of the death, how did she die, how did she die, who was behind it, who was behind it, let me know the truth, all righty, I'm using a spree of cards are kind of new not all but some of them are new just a couple maybe new I mean these are not new these are my older cards this is actually the first tarot deck I ever bought year years ago Bought this years ago. I didn't even know what tarot cards were. I, I, I wasn't affiliated with them, but they they called me. <laughs> they were sitting behind the register at Barnes and Nobles, and I was like, "Huh? Can I have those?" I was checking out, and I just bought them the last minute. So this is one of my first tarot cards. Tarot tarot cards. I so I just felt the need to use it for Aaliyah. She's a special woman. She's a, she was a special woman. May she rest in peace. And her death was very tragic for such a beautiful soul. Her career was cut short because of her death. Her career was taken off. I mean, it was fast, fast track. She was on her way to stardom. 
I mean, producers was coming at her left and right. Writers was coming at her left and right. I mean, her she would have been really, really famous. She's still famous, but I believe she would have stayed alive and she didn't get killed. Her legacy would have been still great and her spotlight would have been still bright. A lot of people say that if she wouldn't have died, Beyonce would not have been as big as she is. I don't know. I have no idea if that's possible, but um, it could be possible, who knows? But today we're talking about Leah and what's surrounding her death. Leah is a Capricorn, which I keep talking about her in the present sense because I'm trying to bring forth her vibe, her spirit. I'm trying next to God and Goddesses to send me visions of surrounding her death. And um, this reading actually got called to me out of the blue for some reason. Some told me to do a reading about her. I'm not sure why, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about her in the present sense because I want her spirit to be with me. So it's going to be present and past. Just know just how I do my tarot cards, okay? So don't be alarmed by any of this, all right? And this is strictly for entertainment purposes and investigated purposes as well, okay? All righty. So Aaliyah was a Capricorn. Capricorns are very hardworking. They are very... Yeah, Capricorns, they are very, because Leah was a Capricorn, and they are very cautious people, ambitious, practical. They have a lot of more morals. Their career, they are very, with the career, they are very cautious with, when it comes to their career. Very cautious when it comes to their career. Um, I mean, this is good because it allows them to this is good because it allows them to rise to the top but slowly but surely because they're very cautious. They're very ambitious. So Lee was very ambitious, as we know. I mean, one thing she said in an interview with uh, R. Kelly, aside from that, I want to tell her age. Okay, I just wanted to come up. Was that she worked really hard and she wanted to do anything, practically. And she'd been singing since she was a kid. Her mom had Star Search, talent shows, things of that nature. She was a very hardworking little girl. She was allegedly dating Damon. Okay, this one pop out. She was allegedly dating Damon Dash. And he allegedly said they were engaged, which I heard on the street they were not engaged. So we don't find out the truth about that. There are many people surrounding Aaliyah's death. Many people surrounding her death. Okay, that one pop up. Many people are really surrounding Aaliyah's death. I'm getting... Hype Williams is the one who changed this location of the video shoot. What's your spirit? Okay. I came out. I'm gonna use this book is here. I'm gonna use that. Okay, I'm not getting anything else out of these cards. Okay. So we got this card, which says enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things if you or your passion is finished with your start. So she definitely had a lot of enthusiasm, enthusiasm. We know that already. And she was dying to finish what she started. She always been that kind of person. That's not nothing new. And then we have this card, which says unity with spiritually minded community acts to 
vying for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. So she was seems to this, judge from this card here, she was getting very spiritually minded and she was asking the divine to lead her to the right answers and, you know, tell her what she needs to do. So like she was searching for answers prior to her death because maybe she was conflicted, you know, about some things. She probably wasn't too sure about some things. So she may have even talked about being afraid of planes or something. She felt something was going to happen, but she just didn't know what. That's what that is. She was asking for answers. Her searching for answers, on um, um, things that was happening around her could have tipped off a lot of people. I know she was changing record labels, so that could have been a reason why she was asking some wise counselor what she should do. So her changing record labels may have put a target on her back considering she was such a meal ticket. This is another card. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. So she had a lot going on, as we know. She had a lot of opportunities. She was doing a lot of traveling before she died. And um, yeah, and then there was unexpected events and rapid changes. So a lot of things probably came to her at the last minute. Script. Um, vineyard change interview here. She got a lot of things. She had a lot of things coming here at the last minute. So it was hard for her to keep up. Her management team was not diligent on keeping things in order. They were just popping things in her, her, her schedule out of the blue. It seemed like that happened a lot. And we have this card here, which says compassion, accomplishment, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity. It says the meet us or meet us touch and mid is touch everything turning out beautifully a supportive parent and spouse a good person to work a lot so it seemed like she may have had a male figure in her life who may have been a spouse probably her brother i'm sure who was kind of a financial security and prosperity for her i mean um or it could have been someone that's completely different maybe the person who she was going to work for next were this compassionate and accomplished person and they were ready to do great things for her and you know and they were a good person for her her career and maybe jive records or whoever the case may be didn't like that it could be a number of things but i did hear she was changing management team she was thinking about changing a lot of things before she died she was definitely thinking about that <laughs> so we can clearly say that i say whoever was in her goodbye video are not suspects. Whoever was in their goodbye video are more than likely suspects. Okay. All right. So let's move forward here. We're going to start with a new deck. Um, I'm trying to figure out what Dex is calling me. Okay. Let's do my very, one of my very first decks. <laughs> these here. I haven't touched these cards in so long. Seriously. They've been about in my drawer forever. <laughs> Oh, wow. So let's see what these say about the leaf. They're all tattered and torn. You know, look at that. They're all tattered and torn. <laughs> They're pretty old. <laughs> let's see what these cards say about the what can you What can you bring forth here? Speak to me. Speak to me. I like this main one to come out. What's going on here? So far, I'm not getting anything from these cards. So other than that one. So we're gonna do something I rarely do. Choose the top card here, and then I'm gonna choose the bottom card. Okay, so we have this card here, which says, put your entire in intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. So if you get nervous, focus on service. So it's not like she was probably nervous and trying to make the world a better place. She probably was even thinking about doing some charity prior to her dying. 
she was thinking about doing something completely different. She never really talked about the whole R. Kelly situation, and we don't know how that affected her. Well, she didn't talk publicly about it anyway. So I think she was thinking about changing her whole party altogether. She's just the same thing about it. Twin Flame, we have the answer to your question involves a spiritual based romantic relationship. I asked a question, and look what it says. Twin Flame, the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship which means the suspect could have been someone she was romantically involved with, but it says a spiritually based romantic relationship, which means they may have just been just friends. They weren't technically together. So that definitely answers a lot because that means whoever probably was behind the whole thing was not technically with her, but they definitely had a really spiritually based romantic kind of relationship, romantic friendship, not necessarily together. And then we have this card here. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. See that? I don't know if that message is for me. It could be like listen to your intuitive feelings. Like the gods and goddesses is probably telling me, listen to my feelings, my instincts. So that's what I'm going to do for the remainder of this reading in which I have been doing already. But this is Karen telling me I should continue on this path. So that was the message that I was getting there. Okay. And now we're going to do these cards. I don't know. I want to do these cards. I want to get these cards. I don't know. For some reason, it's been calling me. <laughs> and these are actually a continuation. These cards here are a continuation of these cards. So they're from the same family, so to speak. I just decided to pull those cards out because, I don't know, they called me. I mean, I look in my little box of tarot cards and I just pull whatever cards call me. So that's generally how I work. Okay. So let's see what these cards say. So judging from what we're getting so far, she was enthusiastic. She had a lot of opportunities going on. Everything was great. Her career was on our board. We know that already. Okay. But she was asking for some spiritual guidance. Someone to guide her. Someone to tell her the direction to go, go to. Because she didn't know. She did not know. She was seeking answers prior to her death. Which is why she changed labels. But she had a lot going on. I'm on this card now. Last minute changes. There were always last minute changes, taking her in crazy different directions. She did not like it, but Aaliyah was known to not complain because she really wanted her career. So she just went with the flow. This car came out. So she just kind of went with the flow. Aaliyah. That's what I'm getting. She just went with the flow on a lot of things. She may have had a confidant judge from this card here. She spoke to someone in private. Maybe it got leaked that she was getting close to someone else other than Damon Dash and her usual party of people. The Capricorn Capricorns are very protective people of their circle. See what else the card saying. Right. What can you say about these cards? Let's see here. What can, oops, okay, I want to pop out. Let's see what the cards say. Okay, and that's all I'm getting out of these two decks. These two decks. I got this here and oh gosh, just like that. And let's find out what this eels. This is very interesting. Six of spades, eight of spades. Okay. This card here is basically it's like a star map, star star compass. When this card pops up, it means that she had stars in her eyes. She Someone saw a star quality. Someone saw a really bright future in Aaliyah. They saw in her in her eyes. They saw it 
and her spirit. And as you can see, Capricorn is right at the top. We have Capricorn and Sagittarius right at the top. Even though Sagittarius and Capricorn are literally behind one another on the Zodiac um, times table in terms of months. But they're right at the top. Capricorn, Sagittarius is right at the top there. And it pretty much, and it's the number 16. And the craziest thing is, she was actually born January 16th. <laughs> So we have Capricorn and Sagittarius at the top. Sagittarius is red, and then we have Leo that's also red. See? So that's very interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. Anyway, but yeah, this is number 16. She was born January 16th. So this, this means someone who saw her saw stars in her eyes. They saw a future. They saw something probably a branded couple a hollywood royal couple but she was not feeling them like that that's what i'm seeing here but they saw the star qualities in her eyes this card here the number 20 is as you can see here like a banquet hall or something like that it's empty because this is a meeting place this is a venue where picnics and gathering and social circles happen. So therefore, this is telling me, I don't know if it happened around on the 20th or something to do with 20th or eight or whatever, it's telling me that whoever was involved in her death, she met them or she socialized with, with them in a social circle. And that's when their infatuation of her went from great to obsessive, secretly obsessed. I'm getting a lot of secret obsession here. We have the... Um, the answer to your question involves spiritual-based romantic relationship. Spiritual-based, which means it's only in their mind and it's in their spirit, but it's great. It's very, very great. This is telling me whoever this person was always showed up at her social events, meeting places, picnics, or whatever deals or whatever the case may be that was going back and forth. That's when she socialized with this person at some really big venue. You may have saw pictures of them together online, but... He, uh, since he's a guy, always showed up at, at pretty much predominantly every event that she was at. He made sure he was there. They weren't together. In their mind, in his mind, they were together. He saw his future in her eyes, but she was not feeling him like that. She was dating Damon Dash. But he wanted her really, really bad. And apparently, you know, he was at most of the uh, those uh, social events. He made sure he was at most of the social events prior to her death. That's what I'm getting right there. That's what that means. Empty venue means, for some reason, this card had to pop out. For some reason, it's telling me that we should pay attention to this card because whoever was at this social event is a suspect and they made sure they stay near Aaliyah throughout the entire event because they really was crazy about her. But no one really knew it was spiritually based. They had like a romantic kind of friendship, relationship. It was in their mind. You know what I mean? And she was about to stop socializing with a lot of people in that circle. And she was starting to socialize with someone more rounded and charismatic, as you can see here, and compassionate. Someone that was on her level, you know. It could have been a parent or... It could have been her brother or it could have just been someone who was like a parent, but they really weren't a parent. But she was looked like she was starting to cut a lot of people loose prior to her death. That's what I'm getting there. Now I want to pull out these cards now. Okay. What else does it say about Aaliyah? Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. What does it say about Leah? Yeah. Oop, okay, that one to pop out. Mmm, see? See? Okay, that one to pop out too. Let's see what we get. Okay, that one to pop out. Let's see what we get about Leah. Cards are popping. Okay. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Is that all? Why did a house car pop up for? And that number 20 is showing up twice. Number 20 is significant in his reading. Let's see here. Okay, I'm not getting anything else out of these cards. Okay. These cards. I got a main female. This practically pop up a snack out, honestly, which let me know that. This person was in the background and they observed things, but they didn't say anything. They knew what was going on, but they didn't say anything. They're not really involved, but based on the number two, they came in after her death. Okay, and then we have the number 20, which shows a house. And this is the second time this car popped up. We have number 20 here, a venue, and a house. That's strange. We got a house and then a venue. Number eight, house in a venue. Something to do with house in a venue or a party or a club or something. And someone got unexpected income from her death. Look like hush money, judging from what I'm seeing here. See that? So someone definitely got unexpected income prior to her death. The 27 is probably affiliated with in some format. And someone's definitely left in despair, which means ever since her death, he has not been able to find work and his life has not been great after her death. So karma is a bitch. So it means he probably has something to do with it or he knew who has something to do with it. Who knows? And then we have the message card here, which means someone probably sent her a message or someone sent the message here. But Judge Feminist this is a very private card. The number seven is affiliated with it, which means she either probably got a message or someone sent him a message. That's what I'm getting here. And then we have this path here. You got butterflies and things of that nature, which means she's in the light right now. She's happy right now. I'm getting it. She's happy, but she wants her death to be solved. So her spirit is not at rest, but she's happy where she's at. But she definitely wants it solved. And it looks like, judging from this card here, there's a main man. There's a main man who's so powerful right now, whereas he's thinking he's invincible, but he's behind the whole thing. And he's number one, which means he was behind this whole killing, the whole plane ride. And so far, he hasn't even spoke barely two words about Aaliyah because he feels the less he speak, the less he is the suspect. That's what I'm getting right there. Okay, so what I'm getting here so far, someone a house and something. A house and then we have something happened at the house and then a party of some kind. I know Jay-Z and Damon Dash invited her to their their apartment or something trump tower or something like that as you can see this house is in the middle of the city to in the background anyway um their house prior to her death for some whatever strange reason it is and she was at a lot of parties with them so that could have been any any day but the 20th and the number eight is affiliated with this the 20 card popped up twice so a house and then a party. That's I don't know why those two showing up, but they are showing up. And someone saw a great future in her eyes. I mean, they saw excellent future. And this is definitely it because she was born January 16th. And the 16th is definitely they saw a great future in, in her. They wanted to marry her. They wanted her, they wanted her bad. And then there's a main mail, and then there's a message. Like he sent a message to get something done or he asked a favor of some kind. I don't know. I'm getting favor. He pulled some strings or something. And I'm assuming whoever did this was affiliated with someone who sold drugs and knew who sold drugs and knew how to find that pilot. They had connections. Okay. These cards are calling me right now. All right. What more can we learn about Aaliyah? What more can we learn about Aaliyah? Tell me, Aaliyah. Tell me, tell me. Speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. And gods and goddesses, let this video go viral so her messages can be received. Protect me. I feel like I need protection after this video. Oops. Okay, that didn't even want to shuffle, oddly. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Let's see here. Let's see what else we can find about Aaliyah's death.
Okay, I didn't want to shuffle. So let's see what we can find about the real stack. Alright, that's all I'm getting from these cards. Okay. Alright, so we have two cards that decided to pop out here. The Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Page of Cups are like a, a man sitting on some kind of rock for a man in the middle of the lake. But if you see here... It's a heart symbol with like a heart and a rose. And we have a bow here flying up. And a man, you know. Huh, that can mean a lot of things. Like when pigs fly kind of thing. But, you know, it depends how you look at it. And the Page of Cups is a very interesting card. The Page of Cups means a new love, a volunteer work, or something studious. So, it's interesting that this card showed up. New work and volunteer work. And I was asking about the killer. So this man, I guess he needed new work and he volunteered. Okay. And look, when pigs fly. So whoever this was, he died after. Wow. Okay. So he was asking for new work and he, he volunteered. Interesting. So we know the killer volunteered and he needed new work. So... That lets me know the guy who who, uh, who flew that plane. He, he was he volunteered. To, he volunteered, and he more than likely did it for free. So there's probably no more than likely there's no paper trail. And judge from this, he wasn't in his right mind either. I mean, look look at this card. See that? He, he looks high. You have the stars flying. You know, you have the love heart here, which means whoever done this done, did this out of pure love. An infatuation, but this man he really wanted work, but he died after. This is the same man, look, same pants. He died after. Oops. Look, in the middle, it's whatever. We got the ocean, like he's in the Bahamas, you know. And then we have the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is a card of see again. We have the teamwork card. This is a teamwork. Are you see teamwork in here? You know, collaboration and craftsmanship. So this is is letting me know he volunteered. So he probably knew the people who hired him. And this is a team effort. Which is a group of people was behind that plane going down. Not just him. He volunteered to do it because he probably needed the work. I don't know why he got high. And maybe he got drugged. He probably wasn't high. He probably didn't really do drugs or intentionally do drugs. He probably was drugged. And then we have the Three of Pentacles here, which means this was teamwork. This was done by a group of people. This was conspired by a group of people and not just one person. But one person was behind it all. But he couldn't do it alone. So he had a, a whole, I think he had a few people who helped him. This is three people here, which means there's three. There's a main man. See? There's a main man and two other suspects. That's what I'm getting there. The main man and two other suspects. That's what I'm getting there. Okay. All right, let's see what these cards say. So, so far what we have, we have the schedule was changing. She was looking for enlightenment. She was looking for help, answers, and some compassion. Individual could have been a spouse. Could have been someone really close to her was giving her guidance. Looked like she was changing labels, changing her set of people, her set of people. She was cutting ties with a lot of people. Someone had a spiritual relationship with her. They weren't really with her, but they were very infatuated with her a lot. They saw a future with her. A bright future. And one of the suspects right now, career has not been the same. It's been hard for him to find work. He has been in straight despair. Okay. Well, there's one who's been financially fine. Okay, let's see what else these cards say. Okay, what can we say about, yeah, who else was behind it? We got a main man, then we have a man who just having a hard time looking for work. Who could these people be? Okay, 
Why is he talking? He's in spare. If you know who helped him, why are you even saying anything? Leah, Leah, Leah. What can you say? Come forth, Leah. Come forth, Leah. Oh, okay. This popped out literally. Come forth, Leah. Come forth, Leah. All right, someone told me I felt I need to stop. Told me to slow down. I feel I need to slow down. All right. So let's see if we can pick a card here. I'm just gonna close my eyes and just pick a card and the spirit guides can tell me what card to pick. Okay, let's do that card. Yeah, this card, because this card was left behind. Okay, so we have, so far, the hand of cards was take a chance risk being strategic. Options, not showing hand gambling. Hmm. Someone took a risk. It was being strategic. Yeah, options, and they're not showing a hand, which means they just took a gamble on the outcome, which means they're literally incognito. They play in the house of cards, literally. Which lets me know whoever the main man here is, is being very mute. He hasn't said anything. He barely probably even mentions Aaliyah. He don't want to be a suspect, but he's the main man. He's the one who contemplated this whole freaking thing. And then we have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. See, abundance. I'm thinking that's me, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Telling me to be positive with this reading. Okay. And then we have this. There's a separation. Sadness missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning. Unsure of a future. So someone is definitely in despair and sad and just missing her. Things of that nature. That's what I'm getting. He haven't been able to find work. And he could have conflicted feelings. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting here. Very conflicted feelings. It could be guilt. It could be a number of things. You know? But there is a main man here who orchestrated this whole thing and he has not been suffering. I'm sensing, judging from my vision, he, he is fine. He's hiding behind a main female. It's coming together now. He's hiding behind a female. Like he's hiding behind a success. You can even see look pictures and stuff in the background. You see that? Yeah, he's hiding behind her. He need her. And then we have the house card here and the venue. And it looked like in the middle of the city. Does this look like New York? It looks like New York. Like what would New York be in these cards? And what a venue have to do with it? Huh, the number 20. Maybe that was the day of the party or something. The only thing I could think of. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So let's see what these cards say. All right, Lee. You got to be more specific, honey. Because I'm getting so confused here. The spirit, the spirit guy is starting to look more. Was he involved? Did he know he was involved? Is this guilt? Or is this... Was he literally innocent in this whole thing? Couldn't be that naive. He had to know who was involved. This is ridiculous. All right, give me more information here. Who is involved? Who is his main man? Who is this female? Who is this female? Yeah, he, this is definitely a group effort. A group effort. Who is this female? Yeah, yeah get more specific here, honey. Oh, okay, that popped out. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Interesting. Be more specific. Hmm. Okay. I'm sensing so she's coming to me in the present sense. Like she knew this dude was watching her and knew he was really feeling her. I mean, she knew. So, all right, come on. Nothing left on these cards. Okay, so judging from these cards here, it's telling me that she knew the person was watching her. See? She knew that he was watching her. She knew it, but she ignored him. Dang, we're talking the lines of a stalker. This is so strange. She knew he was watching her, like she knew that he was crazy about her, but she wasn't feeling him. She was dating Damon Dash. I think Damon Dash know who did it, but he can't prove it. And he's afraid. I think this is Damon Dash. Yeah. The house. A venue. This house and venue is really prime evidence in her murder. And someone got some crazy unexpected income. Probably hush money. Okay, last cards here. Oops. I just want to shop. What can you tell me? What can you tell me? Oh, okay. I don't want to shuffle. Okay. okay, those are the only cards we want to come out for that deck. Okay. Okay. Come to me, attracting like a horse, receive abundance desires. Look at that. And it actually look like her in the rolls. You see that? Does it look like it actually look like her? So someone was really attracted to her. Hmm. I mean, he was very attracted to her. And this definitely looks like her. The long hair. And then you have the lineage of Rose moved, moved by goddess here for this so-called gather. Lineage of the Rose. Moved by goddess here for this so-called gather. So you have two like babies crying. And look at that. Hmm. The rose. A rose, it pops, it's popping up all over these decks. You see this? Rose. Hold on. See? It's a rose down there too. I like a flower of some kind. Because even roses in the background, it is. That's weird. CM. See, CM in the background. Not sure what that means. Anyway, all right, judge it from what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> um, hmm. Well, it just shows it's going to be a gather. The so called can mean. Um, there's going to be, I think there's going to be a trial. They're going to open up a trial on her murder. See, the goddess is calling for a soul call. 
which means whoever's done this, they're going to start reaping what they sow. Their life is going to turn into an unexpected turn because the goddess is calling their lineage. And she's in heaven now. And she knew he was watching her. And she was attracting him. I mean, he had crazy dreams about her. See that? I mean, he, he was crazy. This is the apparently the guy who flew the plane. He's dead now, as you can see. Flying, you know. He did it out of volunteer work, spontaneity. I mean, he just been on spontaneity. He just needed work really bad. And he was in his right mind, as you can see. He probably was drugged. I don't think he intentionally got on that, flew that plane, you know, like that. I think he was drugged. Even though he had a history of drugs, but I don't, I don't think he would have done stupid, some suicide or crap like that. Um, and then we have this star, which means it's a 16, which means she has stars in her eyes. And the person who was attracted to her saw nothing but a great future and stars. This is a twin flame here, which could signify Gemini. But this means that he, whoever was, was spiritually just crazy about her spiritually attracted to her they weren't really together but in his mind they were together and he was crazy about it. this is what this is saying and then we have despair which means this card means that he's missing her he's, he's been in despair he has not been the same his career hasn't been the same he's seen not hired he's not being hired anywhere no one wants to work with him anymore so his career has not been the same since she died someone took a chance a risk it's being strategic and they're not showing their hands, which means they playing the house of cards. They're gambling. They have not shown their true colors. And this is the ace. So they have the winning hand, but they've just been in the background playing, you know, safe. Not saying anything. And this just pretty much clarifies this card. Like this person been missing this sadness and unsure. So it could be the person who killed her who's probably still missing her. And look that flower thing again. See, it's just the flower. I don't know what the flower mean, but follow the rose, apparently. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but it apparently it's significant to her death for whatever strange reason. Anyway, so sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of. Yeah, did she have a song called Missing You? And I'm thinking about you. Okay, that's strange. Anyway, there was a separation there. So they're not sure who wrote that song, but that's interesting. And then um, this card was definitely for me. But um, looks like here that her career was looking great and she was looking for some counseling. She was looking for answers. And there was always some last minute changes. I mean, changes with her venue change. It was always happening. It didn't happen just prior to her death. It happened all the time and that's what she was sick of she was looking for someone it could have been a supportive parent a spouse or someone to give her some some financial guidance some compassionate some guy who was trying to do that trying to tell her it could have been damon i mean you know it could have been him i don't think it was him but you know it could have been you never know but someone was and i don't know i got my instinct feeling it wasn't damon she was conversing with someone else and it wasn't Damon. Anyway, and then we have this here. Put your entire intuition in question. How can I make the rebel? Like she was looking, and it's just in the law of attraction, which means law of attraction, which means, and I didn't even think of to even think of that, the law of attraction, which means she was definitely separating from someone. I'm getting a lot of separation here. She was separating from that label, that group of people. So she was starting to cut a lot of people off and a lot of people did not like it. <clears throat> And that's pretty much all I have for this. Oh, these, these cards, which means this is a team effort. More than one person is definitely involved, but a main man is definitely involved. He's the main man. He put this whole thing together. He just got two other people who helped him. That's what I'm getting here. There's a total of three people, a main man and two other people. And judging from this card here, the truth is going to come out soon and it's going to be crazy. So that's all I'm getting for these cards here. Please let me know what you think below. Don't forget to subscribe, share. And remember, I'm taking the first 10 people to sign up. My website is below. My website is below. So please click it. The first 10 people get a free reading. and Sign up for your free periodic reading. I'll be glad to do periodic readings. It's, a, it's at a very low cost. The link is below. Follow my website. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and share, and like. Thank you.